A 13-year-old boy takes his sister's pickup for a spin and ends up hitting a postal truck. I was getting ready to exit my vehicle and I just hear a loud noise. He had traveled only a few blocks before the collision. I was driving and I was going fast and, you know, I, I wasn't thinking about it. Out of nowhere, within a second, a big explosion and postal vehicle completely on top of me, waist down. From there, I went unconscious. I didn't know what to do, so I came running to my to the house. The police officer arrested me. He was booked for a felony hit and run. I was in critical condition. I had a fracture to my lower back, 15 staples on my head. And the 13-year-old driver is expected to face consequences in juvenile court. The typical outcome for a 13 year old that goes on a joy ride that goes bad is that he's going to be locked away in juvenile detention. And the current punitive justice system doesn't work. So we have to figure out a way to stop the cycle. Our option should be to change behavior prior to getting in that system when we can. That's why I'm such a big advocate of Sentinel Youth Services and restorative justice. Restorative justice is an alternative to a punitive program where you lock kids up. We fund projects at East Suffering of Los Angeles area children, and that's what Sentinel Youth Services does. Our program is one of the pioneers in victim offender mediation. They provide family therapy, individual therapy, academic supports. Our recidivism rates end up being in the single digits. We now have data showing that it works. Our recidivism rates for our kids are between 8 and 11 percent as compared to 30 percent for kids that get locked up. And we can do it for roughly $4,000 a year as opposed to $233,000 a year makes communities much safer in the long run because the children are returned to the community less likely to reoffend. A lot of times the police officers will recommend a case. If a, a young person come in, depending on what their history is, and if they think that they will likely meet the standard of the program, and then the juvenile will text will push the information on to send all your services. I know everybody makes mistakes, but the mistake I did, I will never forget about it because you know I'm hurting another human. That is a perfect example of a kid that needs to go through restorative justice so he can understand how to make different choices. I received a, a phone call from Cincinnati and she described the program to me and I was like, yes. What happens in mediation, you have the victim and the youth come together. They sit there with the mediators, helping them to communicate. I had so many questions I wanted to ask him and his mom. When I walked in there and I saw him, even though inside of me I was angry, at the same time I was happy I was there because I was going to get closure about what happened that day. You have to go to the victim and find out what the victim needs you to do to make it better. So the victim is a part of the process. They cared a lot about how I was feeling, made it very comfortable for me, but at the same time made it comfortable for him to open up about what was going on with him and what it was that he needed help with. People aren't born criminals. A lot of it's environmental and bad choices and so much substance abuse and so much mental illness. There's a lot of factors that lead people to act in criminal ways. It is something hard. I went through something difficult. It's easy for me to say, oh, I'm going to send him to jail because of what he did, but what is that going to get, do for you? Get you more angry? I believe that you know us as parents and, and grown-ups can help a troubled child You know when we have programs like this. We feed the adult population in prisons through our juvenile justice system. We cannot continue to lock kids up and to throw them away like they don't matter. This should become a priority because this is a much more effective approach, better cost savings, makes communities much safer, so everybody should want this program.